Hi guys, welcome back. Um, right, today's an all Italian shave. Yes, all Italian, meaning I'm using the cella, the cella aftershave, and cella brush, to soften the bristles up. Um, and Master Olivia Razor Strap, which is Italian. And just arrived today with FedEx, Maestro Livy Griffo, which is his Griffo model. Just get rid of that. Yeah, really feels dinky because I'm used to the old uh, Trevor's razors and etc. But it's quite a nice little razor actually. Popping there is nice. Don't know what it's going to shave like. It's got Maestro Livy's original edge on there. I've had a few Maestro Livy's razors over the years. I've had, I've had some of them I've had a bit of bad luck with. They're not, they've not been to my taste, but. Moved on since then, and uh, let me see if I can uh, revalue this little Griffo signed by Livy. It's a full hollow, but Livy's full hollows are slightly thicker. Um, I think he prefers to do them this way for whatever reason, which is his, his choice. Right, let's uh, lather up with this cello brush and soap, and uh, I'm hoping this razor is going to be a really, really good shave. I've got to check the edge under the microscope, but it's, it's definitely picking up ears perfect. It's, it's, it feels very sharp. Hanging air test is on fine blonde ears, no problem. I think Maestro Olivia uses a 3K kai for bevel setting. He puts a micro bevel on there and he uses a little cuticle or a, or a trans arc, nothing else. And then he relies heavily on his green side, which he says you must use. You see how black that goes when it's used. Um, and then and then leather them palm stropping so just load this brush up. Not used to using these ball brushes very that's a great man of it there. Oh, that's stiff bristles. Let's oh, get this going. Run to your backbone. Pretty new, so it's going to be a little bit more. Certainly gives your face a good exfoliating. Let's get some good uh, preparation here. My shoulder ain't like a bit. Plenty of lava there, that's no problem. <coughs> a bit stiffer than the old badger brush, I think, and synthetic. But um, I should imagine if you've got a good stubble. Certainly give it a good softening up that one. Ooh, sweating red hot today in England. Absolutely beautiful weather. Let's just wipe the floor, one sec. Let's 
Let's just start moaning this soap everywhere. Excuse me. So that's settling down a bit. It's a good soap, this cello, but very good for the price. Marzipan sort of smell. Very good for the price. I think it was about $8.99. When I bought it, I've got two or three of those knocking about. I tried the pre shave stuff, um, didn't really rate that much. So, right, let's uh, master over strap. Let's try and get this in the camera. It's, it's already come strapped. Just thought, get it in the camera for you. Probably not that actually, that's better. That's it. Like stropping on skin, that is, and then a bit of palm stropping. I do find, I find this is quite good to do in between shaves. My fingers crossed, this is going to shave nice. It's stainless steel, it's owned by the man himself. Let's see. Love the little scales. Right, here we go. That first touch there, that felt smooth. I feel we're in for a good shave there. Yep, yeah, actually. That is very, very smooth. I think my technique probably improved a little bit since I, since 2008 when I was buying these sort of razors. But that stainless steel is very, very, very smooth. Or harsh, I'd certainly say, but that is 100% shaving. I'm really happy about that. It's brilliant. Let's just do the rest of the face there. Then here we go, left hand side. I am using a flatter angle. I do. I do find. The, the, the longer I've, I mean, I've been doing for this for years now, I'm always tweaking my, my um, technique. But me personally, it's all about the person that's using the brazier as well. If you're not using it right, you're not going to get the best from it. Too steep, it's going to be harsh. Oh, it's yeah. This is a 6.8 and uh, it just feels so tiny compared to my uh, Trevor razors and all the big Uris and stuff. Maestro Olivia does make much bigger razors as you probably all know. With that cool.
First pass, brilliant. Nice when the razor shades, you ain't got to miss about with it. That pace should keep that going for a very long time. Probably never need to own that razor. Um, lovely smell. Do three passes today across the green with the green, give this a really good workout. A little bit of palm drop in between. Let's go this side. Oh, yeah, very nice across the green. Very smooth that. I like this anyways, great rental razor. Yeah, what Master Oliver does, he puts like a micro bevel on as he raises, very, very small bevel. And uh, highly advises not to use stones unless absolutely necessary. Because the wider that bevel gets, the harder it will become to get a nice edge. Right, last pass, I'm going to go against the grain for a change. As you can see that razor is shaving, what you can't see is how it feels, and it feels comfortable, and it feels smooth. It's just a sharp, smooth edge. It's quite amazing when you think he's only used the 3K and probably the cortical, and then the pace, so... Uh, but he's green, he's green chrome and oxide paste. I've used a lot and master of his green chrome and oxide candle 
there's no doubt about it, it cuts fast. You can see how you get blackening on the strop very quickly. That's not because it's aggressive, it's just the fact that it cuts fast and it polishes the edge and it's capable of bringing a dull edge back. I think he rates it at about 30,000 grit. I say about. Right, let's go against the green. That's a nice little rose there, it's nice and dinky. Right, let's go for the... And that's just after that's that's wonderful. You'll see that I'm using a very flat angle. And that is very, very smooth against the grain. See, that's absolutely butterly smooth, that is. When I shave against the grain, sometimes I can shave against the grain, but it, it, it'll hurt a little bit, if I'm, especially if that rest of my skin. But, uh, but that's, just, that's just absolutely flawless. That's a stainless steel razor as well. Just like Trevor, he uses stainless steel, and they wouldn't use anything else. I actually watched a video where Maestro Olivia uh, takes a razor that's been used, it's been pasted all so many times that it's got like a bit of a wire edge on it and he removes it on a towel, so he literally goes through a towel to get rid of that wire and just brings it back on the paste. Um, and I think that's what, 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 you spoke, what, what he recommends to do. Like he says, never, once the bevel's set you should never need it again. I'm guilty for it myself, you know, I, I love honing and sometimes you do hone your razors unnecessary. That's my first shave of this and I'm happy with that, it's great. Let's try the false pass. I've noticed with this razor, excellent against the grain. It really is. I don't know what he, uh, he's done a great job there.
think with the weather being hot today, plenty of oil in the face, that's definitely helped with that, with that shave as well. But yeah, um, I've done this video for Martin especially because he's got one coming in the post. What I can say Martin is it really does shave nice, uh, it is staying still, whether, whether it suits you or not, that's another matter. But the way I use this razor and it, and it this is, def well, my drill of his edges out of the box there is, um, it's fine, it's fine. It's not uncomfortable at all. And yeah, it does feel different to carbon steel because it's not carbon steel, it's stainless steel. But I like the feel. So that's it. Let's see what the hell Allen block feels like. No problem there, no sting, little tingle there. Just a little tingle. No, no uh, stinging. Just a tingle, a nice tingle. Shave on them. Sorry, it took so long. I didn't want to rush that though. <coughs> Chella. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, lovely. I do like that aftershave, it's one of my favourites. It really is. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, it's lovely that aftershave. Really good on your skin. Well, I enjoyed that. Great razor that is. Shaved lovely. Well done, Maestro Olivia, for making that razor for me. And have a nice day, you guys, and I'll catch up with you later.